A massive thanks goes out to Be Quiet, Corsair, Eco Waterblocks, Inwin, and Sapphire for sponsoring our coverage at Computex 2019. Hi folks, we're here at the Corsair suite at Computex 2019 and we're chiefly here to take a look at their new stuff, Hydro X. So unless you've been under a rock somewhere, you may have seen that uh, Corsair is looking to branch into the custom loop area and they're going to be doing this by launching a load of GPU blocks, CPU blocks, reservoir pump combos and of course a bunch of all the other accessories that you need to be able to get your loops going. So I'm standing in front of a load of the stuff we've got on show over here. And essentially, we've got the higher, higher performance blocks for the uh, bigger platforms, sort of TR4 and 2066 Intel. And then we've got the consumer socket type um, water blocks, which are going to be for the uh, 115X and AM4 bracket. Now, what Corsair is going to be doing is sort of trying to break into the market at sort of the lower mid-range area. So the idea is to get as many people into it who maybe weren't interested before or found it too difficult. So they've got a number of tools that we're going to be taking a look at later that will help to do that. We're also going to be doing a full in-depth video preview of the parts that we received a little bit earlier. And we're going to be doing that after the event, sort of taking them apart, really analyzing what they're made of, how they function, all of that kind of jazz. We're also going to be doing a proper build with them later on after that, where we're going to be analyzing the performance and seeing how it stacks up to everything that they're saying it's going to do. In terms of the actual market and what they're going to be doing, you'll see all these radiators might look a little bit familiar. These are made by Hardware Labs, so they've gone to an OEM to be able to source all of that. Fittings are going to be bits power. They're going to have a fairly limited range itself. Uh, the idea being that you can supplement it with other things if you need it but the emphasis is being accessible and fairly simple to work with for a beginner. In terms of what they're going to be offering tubing wise, these ones we've got 12 millimeter tubing which is acrylic, we've also got 14 millimeter with the same internal diameter but externally bigger, my personal favorite, I really like that one, easier to bend, looks really good and it's not quite as fat as 16. For the soft tubing, They've got only a single option, which is going to be the 13 millimeter outer diameter and I believe 10 millimeter in diameter. The idea there being keep it nice and simple, easy to work with and not flood the entire market with too many different types of fittings just so that it's easy enough for beginners to get in. Now, of course, the main feature, as you can probably see from the lighting here, is in fact the integration with IQ and all the other software that Corsair has for their RGB. So they put LEDs all around the outside of the water blocks and they try to hide them underneath various shrouds. The idea there being you get a really pleasant kind of glow and sort of RGB integration, which you can then control completely through IQ, much like you can already with the LED strips, uh, the Corsair peripherals, and of course, things like the LL120 fans and other similar products. For the GPU blocks, they're going to have basically an extensive range that covers a lot, most of the cars that are out on the market at the moment, along with a few which might be coming out in the future. So we've got ranging from the 2070, the 2080, 2080 Ti, and then to the larger uh, Strix cards, and then some of the AMD cards, so this is the um, uh, 64 and 56 Vega. And they'll have a larger list which is going to be coming out later on, you can be able to take a look at that. Now, as for finding the actual components, one of the interesting things that they've got going is they've got a configurator. So much like the EK Waterblocks configurator, the idea is you can go into that piece of software and then basically add in your components and it will choose a loop for you. Now this is going to be really good for people who are hoping to get into it because quite frankly choosing the parts for your water loop is probably the hardest bit. There's so much to choose from and trying to get all the right things can be quite challenging. So that's the idea behind that and we're going to be taking a look a bit how that works in a second. Right, so I've had a couple minutes to play around the configurator and it's quite an interesting piece of software and we can take a look at how it works. Basically, you start with being able to add your case. So for instance, let's go with the 1000D. No, that's a 100D. Add another one. There we are. So working with a really big case, of course, let's choose motherboards. Uh, they're going to have an available selection here. And I guess the big thing about the selector is whether or not they're going to have enough models or all the up-to-date ones. I'm hoping that they will do, but for now we're going to be working with these ones. Fingers crossed all the X570 ones will be added as soon as they come to the market. But we'll start with the, something like the MSI Meg Z390. Got a list of processors. Now this isn't going to be important for the layout, but the handy thing is this also contains a cooling sort of um, uh, prediction. So you can work out your TDB based on which units you're going to be using. So if we go with a 9900K, pretty standard, the sort of build that we might be using for this. And we're going to go with Founders Edition 2080 Ti, and we can have up to four. 
Now that's something which I quite like because you're not actually officially be able to support four graphics cards like that any longer, but uh, the configuration still allows you to do it. A lot of other ones, for instance PC Part Picker, don't allow you to do that, so this is nice. So we've got some nice fancy graphics, we'll show you roughly the sort of thing that you're going to be able to do. I'm going to click the recommended setup, and then this is where you start doing the actual configuration for the loop itself. So you can take a look, it will ask, are you going to be overclocking? Now if you choose yes, you can then start, it'll start to increase the, the TDP and think you're going to need maybe more radiators, higher RPM fans, that sort of thing. So we're going to click yes, because of course we're going to overclock. And then it shows you the sort of um, uh, orientation that you're going to want to have for your graphics cards. It's always going to go for a uh, serial configuration rather than a parallel like you might do if you're doing this yourself. Uh, I prefer parallel to serial most of the time, but this is a very simple way to do it. And of course it does work, obviously. And it shows you the list of fittings, the list of blocks, all the sort of information that you're going to need. And you've got a different choice of fittings and tubing for your connectors. So, yep, we're going to click. So now, choose the uh, radiators. Of course, they have all the measurements for their own Corsair cases, so you can start to choose different things. So we go either just on the front, front to the top, and then if you have different configurations, there are other ones as well. Maybe you can have two radiators at the top or something like that, depending on your accessories. After your radiators are chosen, it then guides you through your fans. And yes, there is a no RGB option, thank goodness. But being overkill, let's go with it. Let's go with the LL120s, similar to the one that we did. It will then show you the sort of loop structure that you're going to want to have. Tubing types, including the number of the kind of fittings. So you can get different. It'll also show you what the loops are going to look like with the coolants. So you want to do blue and gold, you can do that. You can change your type, so we've got uh, rigid tubing as well. So you can either go soft, rigid, and then it'll also go to 14 millimeters if you want to do that. So let's try those ones. And then you can also add the, show you the accessories that you're going to need to be able to integrate it all with IQ. So we'll just click next on that. You've got your various add-ons if you want to add anything extra on top of that. And then the idea is you can also order everything directly from the configurator itself. So the idea is it just makes it as simple as it possibly can be to get into the hobbies. So as I mentioned before, we're going to be taking a look in depth at the actual parts themselves, taking them apart, making sure that everything stacks up to the jargon that they've sent us. And we're also going to be doing a proper build where we can test out the performance and see if it stacks up to everything on that front as well. So that's us finished up at Corsair. See you in the next video.